I'm Salman Afiz and I make videos about making your videos awesome. Today's video is about Magic Mask, a very cool feature that came out in DaVinci Resolve 17 and it's getting better and better with every new release that's coming in. Now, before this feature came out, it was a tedious task to do masking and it used to take hours to do the masking for the whole video. Now with this feature, you can easily do masking with just a few clicks and you can track that mask. So just imagine the possibilities that you have while using this magic mask. You can add text behind people, you can isolate the objects and people from your scene and you can color grade them differently. And you can even do the VFX stuff uh, using this tool. In this specific video, I'm going to share my preferred ways of using this feature. And I'm also going to share some of the problems that come in while you're using this effect and how to overcome those problems. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe it and hit that bell icon so that you get the latest updates whenever I upload a video. By the way, I upload videos about DaVinci Resolve weekly, so consider subscribing this channel. So let's jump in and let me show you what we can do using this tool. In the edit page, I've chosen this clip and I want to isolate both of them from the background. And I've chosen this clip intentionally because I want to show you the power of Magic Mask in difficult shots. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this clip so that we have a copy of this as a clean plate. And now I'm going to move to the color page and I'm simply going to go to the Magic Mask option right here. And you can see that I have an add tool over here. So you have two options over here. One of them is object mask and the other one is the person mask. But in my experience, I think the object mask works way better than the person mask, even if you're masking out people. So I'm just going to select the object mask and I'm going to pick this add tool. Now I'm simply going to draw a stroke around the thing that I want to isolate in the scene. And I'm going to make sure that everything is selected. And if we turn on the clips, we can have a better view. Now you can see that we have a good selection, but we can see some of the things in the hair that are not selected properly. So uh, in my opinion, turning your quality to the better option right here instantly solves the problem. And you also have some other options in here that you can play around to clean the mask that you've created. You can increase the blur radius a little bit or you can play around with the clean black to make sure that everything is selected properly. Now let's draw some strokes around this person as well and we can instantly see that it has done a good job in doing that. Now with that done, uh, we have just masked out a single frame. To mask out the whole of the scene, what we need to do is that we need to hit the track option, which is sitting right here. So right now we are in the middle of the shot, so we need to press this option so that it tracks forward and it tracks backwards. So I'm just gonna select this So it is masked and you can see that the whole of the clip is masked with the movement. Now, if we come back to the point where we have added strokes, what we can do is that we can turn off the overlay of the strokes as well. So there's an option right here. If you turn off show strokes, it's gonna disable them. Now we have them selected and tracked. We can turn off this overlay by clicking here. And let's say you wanted to desaturate everything that's in the background. So you can simply come here and you can invert the mask and let's bring down the saturation down to zero. And you can see that we have them in color and the background is totally desaturated. You can use the same mask to use any tool in the color page and it's going to affect just the portions that you've masked out. So now let's reset it and bring it back to 50. And now let me show you the cool part. So let's invert our selection again, just to select them. And the cool part is now let's say you wanted to add a text behind them or you wanted to change the background. For that, what you need to do is that simply right click in here and add alpha output. And just connect this blue square to the blue dot that you have. And now you have a selection that is masked out. And now we'll just go to the edit page and you can add in anything behind it. Let's say we wanted to add a text. So I'm going to come here and add in a text node. Just going to push up to the layer two. And let's bring a text behind them. 
And now let's use the same clip as the background. So if I play it back, you can see that I have the text just behind them. And let's say we delete both of them. So now let's move on to the problems. I'm going to go to the generators and I'm just going to drop in a solid color underneath. And I'm going to go to the color and let's make it white. Now we can see that in the masking right here, the beard is not being selected with this person. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the color page again and I'm going to the portion where the beard is not visible and is not added in the mask. And I'm just going to press this add tool and I'm going to draw another stroke around the beard. And now I'll have to track it again. And I'm going to make sure that the beard is selected throughout the scene. If it's not selected, what I can do is that I can go to that specific point again and draw another stroke. So the tracking is done. And again, during the tracking, I saw two frames which were not masked out properly. So let's play it back. I'm just going to find that spot and I think it's here. So let's go back to the color page again. And this time I'm going to draw it around here so it's right here so I'm just gonna draw it again and now I'm gonna track it forward this is how you find the spots which are not masked out properly and you can draw as many strokes at as many frames as you want and this way you have a much better and much clear mask which you can use for compositing which you can use to put text behind for using the magic mask i would always recommend using the better option over here and i would recommend you to play around with all these options here to tweak the mask and make sure that you have the best possible mask that you can get if the content that i'm making is helpful to you make sure to subscribe to my channel drop a comment down below and hit that like button and i'll see you in the next video